Over the past couple days, I've recorded a couple of videos on .NET Core 3 and how to create or convert a WPF application to use .NET Core 3. Well, wouldn't you know, just a day after I published uh, my latest video, they've released an update which breaks all my videos. And the latest update is build 9754. It's in parentheses on the slide here. And essentially what it does is it changes the syntax in the project file. So let's go ahead and see what changes we've made so we can update our applications. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find out what version of .NET Core 3 you're running. To do that, open up a command prompt and just simply type .NET dash dash version. If you're running a preview of 9754, well then any of the previous apps that you worked on are now broken. If you do not have 9754, open up your browser, go to github.com slash .NET slash core dash SDK, scroll down and install the latest 3.0.x runtime. Okay, this will install the latest SDK. And at the time of this recording, it's 9754. By the time you install it, it might be, might be something different, but it is what it is, right? Get the latest, that's what I'm getting at. Next, let's take a look at what happens if you try to open an application that was built using a previous version. So what I mean by that is, you know, if we look at our project SDK, it's uh, .NET SDK.WPF. We have an application definition. We have pages, right? We have a framework reference. This is the stuff that we had to do in previous videos. So what happens when I try to reload this project? Yeah, it's open, so let's close it, sure. Well, now I'm gonna get an error basically saying, hey, you know what? We don't know what to do with this project file. It's messed up. Okay, no problem. Well, that's because we're running a new version, so we have to fix it. So let's edit this project file, and it's actually pretty nice. They've made some really nice improvements. So first, we're gonna change the SDK from WPF to Windows Desktop, okay? The next thing we wanna do is we want to delete the application definition and the page. So before you had to manually include every page or XAML file as a page in your project file. So if you added a new view, you have to open this up and add it as a page. Add another view, open this up, add it as a page. Well, good news is, is you can delete all this mess now. It's no longer needed, done for you automatically. Now, another cool thing they did was remove the, the need for this framework reference. So we're going to remove that. Now, there's one more thing we have to do. I'm gonna have to come in and add a used WPF and set that to true. So this is the new syntax, okay? It greatly simplifies the amount of uh, code in your CS project file, and it simplifies the process of adding views, which is great. So now let's go ahead and reload the project. Yes, let's close it because it's already open. Great, we're already on the positive side because our project actually loads within Visual Studio. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm not even gonna build, I'm just gonna run it, let it build itself, run the app, cross my fingers, and hope it launches. And bam, there's the app, running as I expected. I just had to modify my project file just a little bit, and we're up and running. So I hope this helps you convert all your previously converted WPF apps uh, to now run on the latest version of the .NET Core 3 preview. Thanks for watching.